Hi friends, this is Seema here again from Paper Passions and today I'm here to share with you how to create your own foil stickers as embellishments for your cards. So what I have here is uh, I've taken a piece of cardstock and foiling as a technique has been very popular uh, in the recent uh, year and um, so to there are various ways you can add um, foil to your cards or your um, you know projects but uh, this is one technique that I find very useful because I can make embellishments and keep them aside and then use them whenever required and um, I will show you two methods of how to make it uh, the first one would be using by using a laminator which is a very common method now uh, with a laminator and if you have a laser printer you can add foil to your cards very easily what I'm doing here is I've taken a piece of cardstock added, added some double sided uh, a d a double sided tape on the back side and on the top I'm using a heavy stick to uh, add the foil just to make the foil stick and now I'm going to put it into a folded printer paper and with the sealed side uh, first I will put it through the laminator and you will see that uh, once it comes out of the, of the laminator the foil will, will be fused to the paper properly now this sheet you can use to make die cuts as I will be showing you in uh, later that uh, you can use this particular sheet to cre uh, create uh, die cuts and use them as stickers because it is already adhesive backed so this is a similar thing that I have already done before the next thing I want to show you is if you do not have a laminator not everybody has it and uh, so you can still use foil on your cards and the best simplest way to do it is using uh, the same method that I used um, I have added double sided tape to the piece of cardstock and covered it completely with that paper uh, double sided tape and on the other side again I'm going to use um, heavy stick glue to stick my paper that is the foil paper but uh, to make sure that the foil gets stuck properly I, we need to apply more heat so that uh, because this is a thermal foil uh, thermal transfer foil we need to apply heat so the best way to do it is uh, use an iron I normally keep a small iron uh, for this purpose and uh, again like I did earlier I will be going ahead and adding some heavy stick now you can use glue too the liquid glue also but uh, there are a couple of things that you need to keep in mind when using a liquid glue because uh, if you just apply it you will need to then smooth it out with a um, card or something to make sure that the surface of the glue is smooth otherwise it will become very bumpy secondly you will have to wait for the glue to dry and become a little tacky before you add the foil because on the wet surface the foil will uh, move so you need to make sure that uh, the so for the purpose of this video I am using heavy stick which is again uh, glue but it is not uh, very wet it is uh, semi dry so you can immediately go ahead and stick the foil like I'm going to do here and so once your foil is stuck you just make sure it's as smooth as you can make it and then again using a printer paper or any um, scrap paper you just put it fold it put it put your uh, foiled cardstock inside and then iron it out add some apply a hot iron to it and wait for the it doesn't take much time it uh, you can just wait for it to fuse a little make sure that the, your iron is pretty hot and you have the same result like you would get from a laminator in fact I have uh, tried and tested that uh, uh, when using heat embossing to apply foil which is another method which is very popular and there are various videos showing uh, the same online uh, so if you are applying heat embossing and to use the foil um, to apply the foil sorry then uh, in that case uh, ironing 
uh, it uh, works out better than actually going ahead and uh, you know um, putting it through the laminator because uh, you can control the kind amount of heat that you apply uh, to the paper and uh, focus it on areas where you want the um, foil to be secondly uh, now I'm, you can uh, you can see here I'm going to go ahead and die cut sentiments out of this cardstock this foil cardstock and I have, will have a ready sticker there I just removed it and I can directly apply it now to my card it's just as simple as that but in case I do not want to apply it right away or I want to keep the sentiment with me it also gives a little bit of a dimension to your uh, card and it's beautiful really beautiful so what you can do is uh, you can keep these die cuts and use them as and when required without just be you'll have to be a little careful when removing the die cut from the paper from the cardstock because it becomes a, if you're not careful it can the adhesive back can come sometimes sometimes come out so just be very careful or run it through so that may, making sure that it is cut all the way through run it through the diamond cutting machine a few times till you're sure that it is completely cut through so that it is easier to remove so this is how you can create your sentiments you can use any kind of die cuts especially uh, intricate ones come out really beautiful so to create your cards as you can see again I'm applying another die cut to another card and just like that you've added foil to your card another way and you do not need any special tools I'm sure I, most of us will have an iron at home and if you want to use a foil and you think that only a person who has having who has a laminator can do it that's not so you can easily do it and in, in fact uh, I find it very e helpful because it can you can actually keep some die cuts in your stash as uh, stickers for use later like I've shown I'm showing here now uh, it is not only die cutting machine that where you can use it if you have a good quality punch you can punch out different shapes and like I've done here using the uh, EK success punch small flower punch and uh, here I'm just removing the back backing and I can apply it directly to my card so you it's not even if even if you do not have a, a um, die cutting machine and you still want to use foil on your cards you can easily do it by using a good punch and to punch out different shapes I hope uh, this video has been helpful to you and uh, if you do like the video please do not forget to give me a thumbs up on my channel it would be great if you could subscribe but uh, uh, and if you like the video please do share it also I would request you to share your techniques on how you add foil to your cards or projects uh, in the comments below I also have a list of uh, DIY craft supplies uh, video playlist which I will be linking in the description below so you can hop over to that playlist and give it a show or give it a look and hope you enjoy have a great day ahead thank you for watching bye bye I'll see you soon